Let's go get this money. You might know the social media app TikTok for its viral dance videos, or is a distinctly modern springboard to fame. Here's a tax loophole that actually works. But recently, it's also become a popular platform for millennials and Gen Zers to put their entrepreneurial spirit into action. You probably won't believe this really weird side hustle. Whether it's pitching a side hustle. So basically, long story short, I resold gently used clothing. Bragging about an e-com business. I've made over a million dollars on Shopify, and this is how I started. Or documenting a real estate investment. I bought an entire mobile home park about a year and a half ago. This TikTok subculture is all about making money. A super easy way to make money at home. Or at least teaching you how you can too. Here's how to buy your first house using no bank, no cash, and no credit. Search the hashtag side hustle or entrepreneur on TikTok and you'll find yourself in a vast sea of self-help. How to make $200 per hour just by removing background images. New entrepreneurs are getting into everything from affiliate marketing, investing. Let's do a refresher on what a dividend is. No matter the business model, you can probably find someone on TikTok who is doing it. You will not believe the profit of this home flip. According to TikTok, Hashtag Entrepreneur has accrued more than 7.2 billion views, while Hashtag Side Hustle has more than 4.7 billion views. This is the business side of TikTok. So, can this corner of one of the world's most popular social media apps actually make you a successful entrepreneur? This is a community of mostly young people coming together and saying, how do we make some money? Nader Alizadeh is the CEO of Linkia, a marketing firm that specializes in connecting brands with social media influencers. I think if you're a young person trying to get a job today versus 12 months ago, it is significantly harder. There's no more opportune time to be involved in trying to come up with a side hustle than now. What do you do for a living? What do I do for a living? Yeah, what do you do? I'm a dropshipper. One popular TikTok hustle is dropshipping. Good morning. That's how 24-year-old Austin Robin says he makes between thirty and forty thousand dollars in profit a month selling consumer goods. I wanted to start just to provide tips um, in the e-commerce community because I know when I was starting out, I didn't really have any go-to channel or source that I used to answer my questions. Dropshipping is a business model that allows online retailers to sell products to their customers without ever actually stocking the items themselves. Instead. When a customer visits a dropshipper's store, they're purchasing the item from a third party that ships it directly to the customer. From there, you'll typically run advertisements to get traffic onto your store. There's a couple different ways. One would be Facebook advertisements, which includes Instagram. That's really the main source for dropshippers. This right here is probably the number one. Austin started using TikTok in August. Since then, he has built his channel to more than 766,000 likes and more than 82,000 followers. Two of his videos have gotten more than 1 million views. There's so much organic reach on TikTok. Just the way that the whole platform works is insane. I think that's why a lot of people are attracted to the platform because you can essentially become some sort of internet sensation overnight. The two primary ways people make money on TikTok are through its creator marketplace, which connects TikTokers with brands, and its creator fund, a $1 billion pot of money TikTok is using to pay its most popular creators for their views. But most TikTokers can't make a living just off TikTok. That's because brands gravitate to the top creators with the biggest followings. And even if their videos rack up tens or hundreds of thousands of views, users report low or inconsistent payouts. To date, TikTok has not explained exactly how it calculates payouts from the creator fund. Robin said 95% of his income comes from dropshipping. But thanks to his growing TikTok audience, he has managed to start a variety of small side hustles. Link is in my TikTok bio. So check in his TikTok bio, Robin provides links to a variety of promotions, pre-built dropshipping websites, and access to private consultant services for those who want to learn how to sell. I want to buy this house for $500,000 and the bank offered me a 15-year or a 30-year mortgage. That potential to quickly build a large audience is also what attracted another TikTok entrepreneur, Humphrey Yang, to the platform. Yang specializes in sharing practical personal finance advice. At the end of 2019, I made a decision to make 30 days of TikToks in a row. But by the end of the 30 days, I had over 120,000 followers and I just never looked back. Today, Yang's TikTok channel has 1.1 million followers and 15.7 million likes. But he said those numbers aren't enough to make a living off the platform. 
although he occasionally does some sponsored posts on TikTok, Yang said he sees the app as more of a marketing tool than a revenue stream. I do view TikTok as more of a audience builder, um, awareness, top of funnel. So basically anybody that sees me for the first time, they might see me first on TikTok and then they might get into my other social channels, YouTube, for example, or Instagram, uh, where they can learn a little bit more about finance if they wish. Since it launched in September 2016, TikTok has seen breakneck growth, being downloaded over 2 billion times on the App Store and Google Play. Today, it's one of the web's most downloaded apps, on par with other social media giants like WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook. TikTok has more than 50 million daily U.S. users, or roughly 15% of the U.S. population. Building a business that wasn't even mine. But the benefits of getting on TikTok aren't just the potential to grow a large audience. It's been fantastic for me networking. So that community uh, that we're talking about and that specific hashtag, I've connected with a lot of those big guys on there that have similar followings or bigger followings than me. And they offer me tips just on the side of private messages. I will frequently receive messages from people saying that because they watch my videos, they decide to take more responsibility in their own personal financial life. And uh, those are quite fulfilling to actually see that my videos are spurring action. Being an influencer is not for everybody. This is about independent of the number of followers that you have, how can you go out and, and make money? Uh, $5, $10, $20. And this